uh, makes me want to just tear my eyes out. Welcome to another Friday night. This is On Fire Family Special Edition. Happy hour. Cheers. Cheers. So this is a video that we've been talking about for weeks, months. I've been thinking about it for months. And uh, one that you guys have helped with as like it's leaked out a little bit that we're working on it. And it is our top five boat ad pet peeves. We have been normally on a Friday night, this is what we do. We pull up Yacht World, we pour ourselves a couple of drinks, and we go shopping for our great loop boat. Our family of four is going for one year, 6,000 miles on the Great Poop. And we are shopping for a boat to do that in the next year. And so uh, that's what we normally do. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we are thwarted <laughs> by the very ads that are attempting to sell us a boat. And so uh, that is the topic of tonight's video. Yes. Our boat ad pet peeves. There's some classics in here, you guys. Now. Before we get started, we are not hating on you. If you are a boat broker, if you are a boat owner and you're trying to sell your boat, we are not hating on you. We understand those uh, health forces sale, uh, whatever it is. We know being, being a boat broker is a hard work. And we also know that, uh, especially now, uh, with the market so hot, it's it's a tough job. You wanna get it out fast. So but, we so get it. Look at these more as pointers of what not to do. Yeah. and. Uh, I mean, honestly, the bottom line is if we're looking to spend six figures plus on a boat, maybe take a couple good pictures. <laughs> like if, if we were to summarize the next, uh, you know, 15 minutes. Especially because we're looking for something specific. We want three staterooms yeah. because we'll have two teenagers. And honestly... So we want to see all three staterooms. Yeah. And honestly, we just want to assess mm -hmm. what it is that's on offer. What is what is right. for sale? Because we're going to live there for a year or more. Yeah. And uh, for us, we're from Portland, Oregon. We want to buy a boat on the East Coast. We can't go see your boat. So we're counting on you. Yeah. Seller of boat, please. Uh, sell put information. Us. Yes, sell, sell us. us on it. Uh, so these are the things that have been driving us nuts lately. <laughs> you've seen it in our videos. You've commented in our comments. And there have been some classic ones, especially last week. So go back to the one from last week, the catamaran, and look at it. And if you're not getting our notifications of our videos, please subscribe and hit the bell and all the things. Um, then you won't miss these awesome things. Number one, the quantity of photos that you have in your listing. This can go either way. Yep, and we're gonna talk about it. Uh, number one, too many pictures. 394 pictures. Yeah, we clicked on this boat, 394 pictures. That's not happening. Nobody got time for that. Pop Yachts is the biggest offender of this. It's like they're taking a video every one degree. Just like, oh, it makes me want to just tear my eyes out. Next. Too few pictures. This one, which incidentally we're reviewing next week. Right. So uh, subscribe so you can see this. But when it was first posted, it had one picture. And we love us the Chris Craft 501. So we're like, give it to us, give us more pictures. And now they have it and yeah. we'll review it next week. But it was just torture. It's maddening. Yeah, don't do that to us, man. Uh, another one, which some of you actually commented from our video last week, which was great. Duplicate pictures. Um, so this is all one room. Yeah, this is salon. And I mean, maybe what was a little bit maddening too is that it kept kind of weaving through out the video. Right. And I kind of get that in a catamaran because it's in the middle, but uh, no. Uh, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pictures of the salon. And after we got the comment, then he went back and grabbed all these shots just to see them all at once. And I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah. So apologies for last week's video. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, we didn't make that ad. Oh, no, but oh, we got the most classic comment about <laughs> it, which is totally, absolutely 100% accurate. So mm -hmm. thank you for that. Uh, and then out of order pictures and that showed up last week as well where and I get the like, catamaran right because you're there in the salon and you go down salon, and you go up. bathroom salon yeah bedroom yeah. salon yeah but traditionally in a motor yacht or a trawler tell us a story walk us through the boat tell us like you're 
you're entering the boat here, you're taking pictures as you go. Here's the stateroom, here's the head, here's the next stateroom, here's the head, here's the next stateroom, here's the galley, here's and you the, can do that all the things. In fewer than 394 pictures. You can, yeah. yeah. And more than one Yes. picture. So yeah, please walk us through the boat in a logical order. Don't take us through once and then put your backup reel, the B reel, at the end. This <laughs> no, is another, this is no. another one that didn't make it. Yeah. But like the B reel photos, just to puff up those numbers to get to 394, <laughs> you just know. Just uh, please, just get just the facts, man. Uh, and then the quality of photos. Okay, this is a big category. It's a catch-all. Yeah. We probably could have done like the top 20 pet peeves, but mm -hmm. we decided to stick with five. And this big category uh, is our number two. And it is um, number one. Photos too dark. Yes. Uh, this happened to the Boomer Shines, which is a, a family that's doing a very similar uh, VBS virtual boat shopping, mm -hmm. and uh, they encounter this, and we do all the time. We get it. Your boat's on the hard. It doesn't have power. Uh, can we get an extension cord? Can we get a couple lights in here? Can we get some uh, reasonable photos of your six-figure boat that you'd like us to buy? Uh, please do. Uh, and then also from their video, uh, photos that add no value. What's going on here? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing is going on here. Yeah. Uh, and my actual... This is this, his biggest pet peeve. This just lights me up. Uh, I, I just... Compass photos. Like, I really... I can't get excited about your boat uh, that I'm going to spend six figures on if it has a $60 or a rusty $20 compass. It's just not doing anything for me. Uh, you could maybe keep it in a zoomed out shot, but I do not need a compass only. Let's make sure we get... Yeah, it's a big turn off for him actually. Yeah, it really is. I Yeah, if you're a broker doing this, please don't. And um, I don't recommend it. Upside down or sideways picture. I don't remember the upside down picture, but frequently we get a sideways picture. And you know, you can Google how to go from horizontal to vertical and actually did have to help a friend with that last week but but we always are trying to just like okay if you're a professional what are we looking at here you should know how to do that yeah. and then uh wide angle fisheye lens oh man this is like lying to me and i will not have it we understand boats are small you want to make them look big uh there's a limit to that like you can you know, kinda... go up in the high corner and take a good shot yeah but so it looks like it's bedroom giant office, but no, it's like cracked. Yeah, I mean, this is a normal stateroom. It's not- Show um, me how it is. Yeah. Uh, and to illustrate even more, how many people do you think would fit on this? I mean, that's like huge a- Huge looking couch. This six is a, or seven family size couch. Well, I count butt cushions and I see one- Those are giant two, butt cushions. Like maybe three, four, five. I see With six- With a dog in the corner? Six people. Mm -hmm. I see five and a dog. Mm -hmm. And then, no. No. This is three, this is a three plus Lies. a dog. Lies. Lies, the fish eye lens. Yeah. So we get it, make it look a little bit big, but don't be lying. What, we're not expecting, you know, 3,000 square feet on our boat. Yeah. Uh, old dates and photos. Uh, I just pulled one as quickly as I could find from one of the previous I mean, posts we looked at. Any dates and photos, but... But any dates, yeah. I mean, it just kind of... But it especially if it's really old, like, take the current photo, mm -hmm. and I don't know what the date is really telling us. Uh, unless it's today, and I'm like, whoa! Uh, <laughs> this is what it looks like today. That diesel isn't leaking today. Uh, <laughs> good. So, yeah. Next, people and photos. This is a big category. Number three. Mirrors. So many mirrors. I've actually kind of uh, made this my personal passion to seek out some of these <laughs> photos. Uh, but the flash right to your eye in yeah. a mirror, the crotch shot where you're like angling mm, down in the mirror. Uh, I'll just say if you're going to take boat photos, number one, try not to get yourself in the mirror. Number two, yeah, like stand off to the side. Dress appropriately for the situation. Some like a tank and a no. boxer shorts. No, yeah. <laughs> dress appropriately for the job that you want, not the job you have. I think I've heard that before. Uh, yeah. And then fingers. Mm, this is my pet peeve. Other people's in photos. Yeah. I don't Why? know. Why? It doesn't kind of bother me, but it is, we are in the age of digital photography. Uh, this is not film. This is not developed three weeks later. Uh, you can just retake it. 
Uh, you I can mean, just look at it right away. Choose not to post it on Yacht Rogue. Yeah, it's but. so many things had to go wrong for this to happen. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then I don't know. I'm not <laughs> hating on this, but shadows and reflections. Like, it's fine. I'll catch you in the like reflection on the TV. Oh, well, you took it on a sunny day. I see you there in your shadow on the floor, but um, if you can avoid that, maybe better. And then we've seen this photo because of the this upside down. This photo makes it twice. Yeah, that's right. This is the winner, I think, of the pet peeves. Your sexy uh, feet. Sexy feet. We can tell a lot from this. We've been wearing a lot of sandals, and uh, but kudos for respect for taking your shoes off before entering the boat. So, you know. No, gross. Applause. No, well, you I mean, yes, feet, fine, but I don't need to see it. Uh, well, definitely don't need to see yeah. it. Okay, number four, guys, please uh, prep, clean, stage your boat or for just sale. Or just take it out of the shot. And yeah. if you need to put it back in after the shot, go for it. Number one, clutter. Just no. Well, we frequently, we're, we're looking for three stateroom boat, mm -hmm. and that third stateroom gets shoved with it's, stuff. It's the clutter room for people that don't need it. We want to see what it's going to look like. This is where our son's going to sleep. And uh, you got some booze and some lines and some toilet paper. And <laughs> over here we got some old bottles and some um, kitchenware. Yeah. So, yeah, clean it up. Uh, this is a fabulous slide because these are all from one boat. Hmm. Yeah. So if you have personal decor items that maybe have a, like, just say niche, maybe stage it with some I mean, you can have like, anchor pillows or something right, like Right, like this. nautical kitsch is fine because I can think around those. It's hard to think around Tony the Tiger. Yep. I mean, that could have been. And then put that. And then Oh our my gosh. Pets and pet supplies. So like frequently we see dog be. dishes, we see, uh, you know, litter boxes. Ugh. This was in an actual ad of a boat we were considering and we have a pet pig on the boat. Uh, so if you have like those kinds of like personal I mean, effects, just... what does the boat smell like? Yeah, I don't a know about literal pigsty. I don't know. I don't know about raising a pig. I mean, I what a boat, little but... teacup, little piggy, so cute. This one, no, slaughterhouse. Mm. Oh yikes. Mm. Okay, number five, uh, information. We need information. It's the whole point of shopping for boats, and uh, Yacht World provides a lot of different little bins you can put stuff right. in so if you're missing pictures that's not good uh we'd love to see your engine room yep take well, some we. photos uh take a picture of yes. your third stateroom if you have a three stateroom boat and you're advertising it as such and if you only take pictures of one head that doesn't really tell us much about your other head if you have those yeah and then leaving canvas on just blocks the thing you're taking a picture of. Right. So what is the point? We want to see how cozy the flybridge looks. Yeah. So we see like and the helm covered on the flybridge. How new your electronics are. And whatnot. So uh, honestly, leaving any canvas on is just kind of lazy. So don't do that. Uh, and then, oh, I hate this. New listing, zero <laughs> information. That's fine for like a day or two. It, if we're like a month or two into the listing and we click on it and this 2000 Silverton has new listing that's the extent that's all we have that's the in entirety of the description we really wanted to no. look at this boat yeah nah and then this this is a new listing we'll provide more details and pictures soon but no <laughs> so uh don't do that just gather your information it takes an afternoon to create some pictures and type some words and uh yeah don't delay and uh also if you go click over to the full specifications mm -hmm. tab in Yacht World. Put in some info. Yeah, because accommodations, we see this all the time. Number of heads, two. Fabulous. Yeah, so. But where are my kids gonna sleep? Yeah, we wanna know where, how many staterooms, what size of berths they are. So on the right here, we have accommodations. Number of twin berths, two. Number of double berths, one. Number of cabins, three. Number of heads, two. That provides information, yes. thank you. We would you. prefer if it said stateroom, so we know that cabins means staterooms instead of like bedrooms plus living area. Right, But because there's discrepancy. But at least that has a lot of information. Yeah. And the pictures might show three staterooms. Yeah. So. Which we like. Coupled with good pictures, that's then, a lot of information. Also, uh, put information about the engines. So we frequently see diesel. Because we need to, you know, move that's, the boat. That's it, diesel. 
Like, tell us a little more. <laughs> uh, and then maybe engine hours, that kind of thing. Oh, that yeah, that'd be, be really like, nice. You're not going to lose by putting too much information. I would Unless say. it's bad information. No, there's, just tell us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're haters. We, we don't no. like anything. We do. We do like lots of things. We do. Uh, specifically, we like a layout, a floor plan. Yes, a layout. I mean, that, like, gets the juices flowing and... Yeah, and, and we've mentioned this a, a bunch five, of times, maybe. and we're broken records, but the powerboat guide, if the ad doesn't provide a layout, then get this thing, and I'll put a link, but uh, it has layouts for all the boats uh, in here. So you can see what the layouts are. Take a picture. That's terrific. But if you're a broker or a seller, just spend a couple bucks, get this on Amazon, take a picture of your boat, and put it on there. Bob's your uncle, selling your yacht. Uh, we love video tours. It yeah. takes you like five minutes to post we, a video to Yeah, we don't post YouTube. a video of a video because, you know, we put the link, but we like to view them. Yeah. Because then you're actually walking through the boat and we get to see it. And I like 360 degree, okay. like things, but uh, she doesn't like it. But, uh, <laughs> but to me, it gives you a sense of like, you can zoom in on different things and, and really get a perspective on things that you can't get in still photos. And then I put Goldilocks number of photos. Not too many, not too little, just right amount of photos. And tell us a story with your photos. Walk us through your boat, start to finish, you know, walking through, not random, uh, hitting the salon, back every forth, other picture. Back and no. uh, and then or staging. next week's boat, we get to see the same head after seeing a bedroom and then seeing the head again. Yeah. Yeah. But the boat's great, so please <laughs> yeah, tune in come next back week. next week. Yeah, subscribe for that. Uh, and then staging, probably worth it. Uh, don't leave your tiger stuff in there. Yeah. Uh, or the boat that we saw had pelicans in every room. Just yeah, or your pet I'd pain. say the fewer amount of things in the picture, the better. Anyway, that's On Fire Family's pet peeves of boat <laughs> ads. We've or helpful tips. Or helpful tips for selling yes. your boat. And also, uh, we've missed some. We know it. And <laughs> you guys uh, have been so solid in um, commenting with these. Funny things. So thank you. Uh, it's a fun video this week. Uh, we'll be back to the normal boat review next week. Uh, but it's been fun sharing with you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it makes me want to just tear my eyes out.